Hello! We're going to do something a little bit different. We're just going to go over one problem today. This is a problem that someone asked me through my inbox, and you're free to do that as well. No guarantee that I'll make a video of it, but it's a possibility. Good luck with finals, by the way, if it's that time of the year for you, or of the semester. Alright, so this problem is just showing simply that a coset has the same number of elements as its subgroup. So if you remember cosets and Lagrange's theorem and that kind of thing. Alright, so just to give you a quick example, like the, uh, the, the group Z12 under addition and the group, the subgroup generated by the element 3. 0, 3, 6, and 9. Now a coset would be uh, 1, 4, 7, and 10, right? That's a coset. It's a subgroup generated by 3 plus 1. And it has the same number of elements. They both have order 4, right? And this is just showing that the general case is always true. A coset will always have the same elements as a subgroup. So let's commence with the proofing. So we have an element G in G, and we're going to show that there's a function that maps the elements in the subgroup to the el to the coset. To the, excuse me, to the coset to the elements in the coset, and we're going to show that that's a one-to-one -one function. If there's a one-to-one -one function between the two, that means they have the same number of elements, doesn't it? So we take an element in H. And that's going to be in the coset, GH. So once again, this maps the subgroup to the coset. So to show something is one-to-one, -one, how do we do that? We assume that there are two inputs such that the outputs are the same. And then we need to show that actually that means that the inputs are equal to each other. That's the standard process for showing something that's one to one. So we have phi of H1 equals phi of H2. These are two two elements in our subgroup. Well, phi of H is GH, right? So phi of H1, that's GH1. And phi of H2, that's GH2. And now we know G is a group, so G inverse exists. So we just multiply by G inverse on the left, on, the, on the, the left, you know, right here and right here. And after we do that, we get H1 equals H2. That's it. So that means that phi is 1 to 1. So that means that the order of H is equal to the order of GH. A general coset of H. Check mark. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have questions.